What's going on guys? Riley here from RP Productions and today I'm making a short, simple, straight to the point video getting your feedback and your opinions on should I sell the Scat Pack or not. So I'm sure this video is going to take many of you, probably most of you by surprise. Um, I don't really think anybody suspected me to sell the Scat Pack after eight or nine months of ownership and quite honestly, I didn't think I'd be selling the Scat Pack this soon either. I thought I would keep it for uh, at least over a year. I guess the simplest explanation of why I feel like I'm ready to move on from the Scat Pack is simply because before this car I owned a black Dodge Charger RT. Now this one is obviously a purple Dodge Charger Scat Pack. So collectively my time spent owning a Dodge Charger has been, I believe, well over two years. I really don't have a true set reason of why I want to sell it other than I think I'm just ready to move on to something else and that's something else being specifically something with a six-speed manual. I recently made a video talking about automatics versus manual transmissions and in that video I pretty much said pick a transmission that you like it really doesn't matter do whatever you want and it shouldn't affect anybody else's lives. I personally have never owned a manual transmission and it's something that I've always wanted to own I've just never pulled the trigger on it and I think now is finally the time of my life where I can do so and do so comfortably. Um, I as much as I hate to say this and as much as I love this car, I really don't have a use for the back seats in this car. I notice myself, every time somebody sits in the back seat, I'm always extremely worried that they're going to be scuffing stuff up. Um, so honestly, I try as hard as I possibly can to prevent people from sitting in the back seats of this car, which kind of goes against the point of having back seats in this car. So obviously, as I'm sure you can assume, the next car I own will not have four doors with a big back seat. It's going to be something a lot smaller. Um, more kind of compact and nimble, I guess. I don't want to be giving away too much information on the car because I don't really want to announce it yet. Although, as many of you probably can piece together by now, it's a six-speed manual, it's smaller than this thing. It's a car that I actually plan to do modifications to. Modifications aside from doing like appearance modifications, I mean like actual performance modifications. So by the time I'm done with it, it should be zero to 60 times, probably mid to high three second range and quarter mile times I'm probably just aiming for like high 11s in the car give or take um, so it's going to be a quick car and it's still going to be something that's going to be very enter entertaining to make YouTube videos on and it's something that not a lot of people have so I still kind of keep that rarity aspect um, it's just not going to be a purple Dodge Charger so by no means would I go into this and just get some kind of like base model vehicle that I don't think would be very entertaining to own, be very entertaining to make YouTube videos on, and provide good content for you guys. I'm doing this out of a kind of like, I've reached a point with this car where I'm very content with what I've done to it. I've done everything I wanted to do from day one with it. I feel like I've almost kind of like reached the end of my build, even though it wasn't much of a build. There's a lot of appearance mods, and I will admit that. Getting into hardcore performance mods with this car is something I never planned to do and it's something I will never do um, just because I didn't want to get into the whole voiding my warranty on this specific car thing. Um, it's something that I, everything I did on this car could be easily reversed and it's something that everybody can do. I tried to do them all kind of like cheap, affordable and stuff that everybody can do. So as far as this car goes, I've pretty much done everything I want with it. I wouldn't say I'm bored with it by any means. I think this car is a great daily driver car. I mean, the eight speed automatic transmission is really one of the best ones that you can find on the market so by no means is anything wrong with this car and like I could keep it for the next 10 years and I'd still be happy with it I'm just wanting to switch over to something else that's something out of my comfort zone something where I can give another owner's perspective of owning a cool car so if you'll notice on the top right corner of this video there's like a little white circle I believe and if you click on that then it opens up with like a little voting poll where you can pretty much vote for yes you should get a different car or no you should not get a different car now at the end of the day this is my decision and I want that to be heard loud and clear um, but I do want to get an idea for where my YouTube viewers stand on this topic Clearly, if I'm going into this with 100% of people saying, no, do not get a new car, I will have to obviously approach this with a much different mindset as opposed to if 100% people say, yes, get a new car. So it's one of those things where I just kind of want to see where everybody stands on this. At the end of the day, like I said, it is my decision. So I'm not like saying, hey, pick my car for me. I'm really just trying to get opinions and feedback. 
Now for all of my Dodge lovers and Scat Pack loyalists out there, do not fear. I have many, many, many friends with Scat Packs, Hellcats, etc. So they will still be on the channel quite a bit just because that's who I hang out with, who I'm around all the time. So don't think I'm going to switch to a different car and start talking shit about Dodge all of a sudden just because I switched to a different car brand or something. It's not like that. Just like you watching this video, I am a car enthusiast. I'm somebody who enjoys pretty much all cars, anything with four wheels and a motor, it interests me. It's not something where I'm trying to just all of a sudden switch brands and spread hate on this one or anything. It's, it's not like that. So if you're worried about not having any type of Dodge content on the channel anymore, that's not the case. There's still going to be plenty of those videos. I could probably take many of my friends' scat packs out for a day or whatever and do a video on it, and they wouldn't care. At the end of the day, this is a decision I'm making for myself and something that I think I will enjoy and something that I want to experience. Now all of these experiences are something that obviously I share with the internet via YouTube, which is a great platform where you know I can be able to afford these kinds of decisions and toys and stuff. Is it the smartest financial decision? Probably not. Granted, it could work out for me in the very long run by landing me some type of career with some type of like automotive, not really automotive journalist, but you know, something along the lines of, for example, a really cool job would be like one of the head guys at Motor Trend. That would obviously be like one, a dream job of mine and a great way to be kind of recognized and stuff is obviously having a, a somewhat large YouTube channel with a decent sized following would help out quite a bit. So if I can continue the growth of this YouTube channel or even magnify the growth, that's great. That would work out fantastically in the long run and then I guess it would be a financially smart decision. Um, is it a smart decision to continuously flip new cars every eight months? Definitely not, wouldn't recommend it. But it's something that I'm doing, not you. My money, not yours. People don't understand that with the money that I make through YouTube, I'm able to do all of this stuff and so it's something I don't really feel bad about if I'm taking a hit as far as resale value goes on this car or whatever. I don't really feel too bad about it because it's something I've earned by just owning this car and making videos on it. So if I have to flip it and get something else and make videos on that and kind of earn my money back that way, then so be it. It's something that I just truly love doing is, you know, owning different cars, exper experimenting with them, experiencing them, and sharing all of my passions and experiences with the internet. So as I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, this is something I'm not doing right away. Uh, by the time I get the new car uh, like in my actual possession, it'll probably be about maybe two months from now if I were to start getting the ball rolling right now. So at this current time, the time I'm making this specific video, the car is like at the, I guess, very beginning, early stages of possibly going up for sale. So if you're interested in this car, contact me via my email on my YouTube channel if you just go find it on the about me section. You can send me an email there. You can send me a message on Instagram. You can also contact me on my Facebook page. All my links and stuff are in the description below if you want to go find me on one of those social media platforms. YouTube comments are not the place to have those conversations. Currently, the mileage on this car is 14,838 miles. Now, that will go up slightly just because I drive this thing every day. And obviously, it depends on the time frame of me selling it, what the miles are going to be. But currently, 148. Just because I have nothing to hide and everything has been documented on this car on YouTube, everything is out there. I know what I can get for trade-in on this car and I know what I want if I'm going to private sell it to somebody. If I have to trade it in, so be it. If I'm gonna private sell it to somebody, hopefully they watch the YouTube channel. Hopefully it's one of you guys who will enjoy this car for what it is. If I private sell it to somebody, I can leave all the modifications on there, everything like that, so you basically just have it the way it sits now. I'd like to get $40,000 for it. There's really not any room there for negotiation just because I know what I can get if I were to go trade it in and going any lower than 40K on private sell would be just the same as trading it in. So yeah, guys, there we go. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Pretty simple video. I know a lot of you are probably gonna be sad that the scat pack's leaving and stuff. Yeah, like I said, it won't be for a little while. The very early stages and nothing is set in stone. For all I know, next week I could be like, never mind, we're not doing that. We're keeping the car for longer. We'll just have to wait and see how everything goes. Also, looking at the voting poll that I created on this video will help me a lot in determining how I'm going to do things and as far as like a time frame goes on things as well. Uh, so it'll be very interesting to see the results on that. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.